Reading with Val. Hi guys, my name is Valerie. I have been waiting to read this book. My friends recommended it and some authors and librarians also recommended it. This book is called How to Make Friends with the Sea. It is literally so good and it is an incredible read. It is by Tanya Guerrero and it is a middle grade novel. I would rate this book a 10 out of 10. In this book, Pablo and his mom live together in the Philippines and Pablo's mom works for a kind of animal sanctuary where they protect animals. But one day, Pablo's mom gets a call on the phone and um, instead of rescuing an animal, she is being told to rescue a little girl. She said yes, and this girl is an orphan. Her grandpa recently died two days ago, and that was her last relative that they know of. When they go get her, she's inside this really crowded chicken coop with chickens inside, and she's buried up in a corner, and she's super shy, super sad, definitely. So she won't eat, talk, or drink anything for two days. It makes sense that she's really devastated and depressed. In the book, she said, um, she looked about four to six years old, and she um, has a cleft lip, and um, when she was little, her parents and her grandfather, her relatives, did not treat, um, did not treat her to the doctor, and so she has some medical things to take care of, too. They go to the hospital with this girl, and they check up a few things, they look at a few things, and, and finally, she gets to go home, and so um, there's no real name of her, and so Pablo's mom made up this name, and it's called Chiki. It means this like shy, small, lonely girl. She won't talk to anyone, but throughout this book, she begins to talk to Pablo, and they form this amazing relationship. And another thing you should know about Pablo, he um, has like many fears and he's afraid of germs and uh, he's really clean and really organized and also he does not like the sea and so they go on a few vacations in this book um, and they go to the beach and he learns how to make friends with the sea and this is why the title is called How to Make Friends with the Sea. This book is so fun to read because, well, there are two amazing characters that I really like in this book, and it is Chiki and um, Pablo. And I love them because together they form a bond, and it's kind of like an older brother, younger sister kind of bond. It is the strongest and most kind of um, progressed, I guess, um, relationship I've ever read from a book and how they both really care for each other. Only Cheeky can understand Pablo's real feelings and only Pablo can understand Cheeky's real feelings. And I just think that it's an amazing bond and that everyone should have that kind of support, whether it's not a brother or sister, maybe it's like a parent or uh, a friend or relative it's just amazing to have they are strong apart but even stronger together the author did a really great job of finding those two characters making them who they are and their personalities my favorite part in this book was when cheeky first talked to pablo and it might not seem like a big deal but cheeky has never talked before and she is this super shy, insecure girl. She starts talking to Pablo and it's just like a miracle because she's never talked ever, but she um, did say things and Pablo went on YouTube and searched up a few videos like how to speak English for kids. And Cheeky watched those videos, all 21 of them, and she learned pretty quickly. Um, and she made a lot of progress and now she knows how to say things like, um, don't be sad to like Pablo when he was feeling like really sad. And like, also like, I love you, Pablo. And it was just 
amazing to see like her progress. Yeah, that was probably my favorite part. My favorite character in this book is Cheeky because she has gone through so much in her life. First of all, she has no parents, no relatives anywhere, and she is getting put with a family that she has never heard about, never looked at, and she just gets carried away. She's very in need of love and affection um, in the beginning where she was at the chicken coop, and she got that, and so um, I think she's just really nice and really sweet and caring to other people like Pablo and Pablo's mom. I would recommend this book to kids between the ages 9 through 12. This book is such an amazing read and I really think that it is great to keep a copy at home and um, for teachers keep a copy at school too because it's really amazing and I think that all kids will enjoy this read. I cannot wait to read more books from Miss Tanya. Remember to read on, have fun, and dream big. See you guys soon. Bye!